after having watched the previous video about the importance of the Dilmun civilization, of it being a center for trade, sacred land, a paradise on earth with human origin connections, Islamic sources later made claims very similar for Mecca. For example, in this article written by Muslims about Mecca, a section here underlined in blue says, quote, by Roman and Byzantine times, it had developed into an important trade and religious centre and was known as Makaraba, unquote. Just like Dilmun before, the article describes Mecca as the first sacred land, going on to talk about the connection between Adam and the city of Mecca, though then dismissing it as pre-Islamic fables, although it is not as will be evidenced by citing classical Islamic sources attesting to this claim. On the claim that Makaraba is Mecca, this is disputed. For example, Dr. Patricia Crone, who held positions at Oxford and Cambridge as Professor of Islamic and Arabic Studies in her book Meccan Trade and the Rise of Islam, explains this in detail from pages 134 to 135, and then concludes, the name of Makaraba has nothing to do with that of Mecca, and that the location indicated by Ptolemy for Makaraba in no way dictates identification of the two. Oxford University educated specialist in Islamic studies, Ian Morris, in his research Mecca and Makaraba, on page 5 explains the coordinates as described by Ptolemy as Makaraba means it cannot be Mecca, and although the names sound similar, they are not the same place. The full link is below. In this article by author Dan Gibson, he again explains, although the widespread claim that Makaraba is Mecca, it does not fit with Ptolemy's map going on to conclude Mecca cannot have been Makaraba as it did not appear on first century maps because it did not exist during his time as it was only inhabited from 900 AD. In this academic study it explains that there is no evidence whatsoever for the Islamic claims the Mecca or Makkah, as it is pronounced by Muslims, as having its origins going back to Abraham, bearing in mind he would have existed around 2000 BC, despite the erroneous claims by Islamic sources such as the Quran, there is no evidence Mecca existed this far back, unlike Dilman, which did, as shown in the previous video. The city of Dilmun is archaeologically attested, whereas Mecca is not anywhere close to the period of Abraham, with the first unambiguous reference to a place called Mecca in external literature occurring centuries later in the year 741 AD found in the Byzantine Arab Chronicle. Even then, its location is disputed, whereas Dilmun has been found in inscriptions dated to 2500 BC. Abraham would have been aware of Dilmun as a commercial, cultural and spiritual centre as he was said to have been born in Ur, a claim accepted by Muslims according to this article. Ur is in modern day Nasiriya in Iraq, which is a place very close to Dilmun, modern day Bahrain and surrounding areas. The same cannot be said about Mecca. In other words, when it comes to a major city within the Arabian Peninsula in terms of its commercial and religious significance attested by history, it is not Mecca, rather it is Dilmun. Although the Muslim website in the first slide makes a connection and goes on to dismiss 
the connection to Adam and Mecca as pre-Islamic fables. The relevant section is pasted here again. It is not to be dismissed as there are many Islamic references. For example, here is a popular Quran commentator, Ibn Kathir, whose commentary of Quran 236 is of how Adam was sent down from heaven as a punishment to earth, settling in around Mecca with a black stone, the very same stone the Muslims venerate till today in Mecca. The relevant section says Adam descended to a land called Dahna between Mecca and Taif, and others say Adam descended in India with Eve in Jeddah. So Ibn Kathir's commentary explains how eventually Adam came to modern day Saudi Arabia to a place called Dahna, which is near Mecca. Today, a place called Dahna can be found in Saudi Arabia. Islamic folklores have been built around how the black stone came to Mecca and forever situated and venerated by Muslims to this day. Islamic folklores and fables continue. Traditions have been built around how Adam reunited with Eve at Mount Arafat, a place approximately 20 kilometers from Mecca. It is here as part of the essential pilgrimage rituals the Muslims congregate in their millions when performing the Hajj to Mecca. In this book written by Muslims, it confirms Islamic sources stating Adam and Eve met at Mount Arafat. It also mentions how Mecca's neighbouring city of Jeddah was so named because Eve ended up there, according to Islamic legends. In Arabic, Jeddah means grandmother. Eve is so named Jeddah because, according to Islamic traditions, she is the grandmother of all humans. Jeddah still has a landmark claiming it to be the tomb of Eve, as explained in this article called islamiclandmarks.com. Incidentally, it incorrectly states Jeddah means ancestor of women. Anyone with Arabic proficiency or any Arabic dictionary will show this is false. Jeddah means grandmother. At any rate, due to these spurious claims and fables which have been incorporated into the religion of Islam to give it validity, genuine scholarship dismisses the claim that Eve was ever buried there. Even Muslims and Muslim scholars themselves question the authenticity of the tomb, with its existence dating no more than a thousand years at most, built well after the religion of Islam came on the scene. So in conclusion, Dilmun as a place is historically attested to before 2000 BC as opposed to Mecca. Many of the ideas, legends and folklore from Dilmun, such as it being in existence from the time of Abraham, it being an important trading center, sacred city, and it being first connected to Adam, all these ideas later came to be ascribed to Mecca. It is likely Abraham would never have heard of Mecca as it did not exist at his time. If there was a place he would have heard of and may have even visited, given its importance at the time, it would not have been Mecca, rather it would have been Dilmun, the original sacred land. Other places near Mecca, such as Jeddah, Dana and Mount Arafat, have been given religious significance by Muslims by connecting them to the Adam and Eve narrative. There is no historical evidence for this and are likely concoctions in an attempt to give the Islamic religion pertinence, validity 
and approvability. It achieves none of these because it is based on a falsehood and what is worse, it's actually just a plagiarism and a rehash, a reappropriation from earlier myths, like many of its claims, which are utterly baseless, fatuous and false. Thank you.